Hello. Man was never supposed to be a blind faith actor in the story of religion. And the Torah was given to the people to understand these things. And these were simple parables. They compared to the reality of that time, these parables are seen in our time. For example, today we see that any kid on the road who is a Hamasnik or belonging to Hezbollah, ask him one question, at what stage of life did he start hating the Jewish people and the country of Israel? He was not born with that hate. So it came from somebody who taught him that we don't talk to these people, these people are satanic and somebody had to tell him, right? If it came from a parent, it was more deeply imbibed. If, if it came in the form of a religion, then it was much more dangerous because that made him the slave of the person who dreamt it. The person who had thought about this idea is utilizing the stupid believer who thinks he is religious and does something against God. They will say it is from the Quran. No, manipulated. Somebody is playing with your brains. This story comes in the Torah even before Avraham Avinu, the Jew, comes in. And if you have prophecy and I had prophecy, then if your prophecy is totally different and changed, then you don't believe in the God that I believe. Why? Because God did not change, never changes. Man can. Yes, we are under the influence of time. God is not. Time is a creation. You need two points in time to change. God never changes. Okay. So what's happening? What is the parallel story? The parallel story is the Tower of Babel. It is one man's dream and everybody without a free speech has to follow and become a slave. So everyone who is following Homini's ideals, ideals, he is not a good Muslim at all. He is a slave. First he has to come out of his slavery and then serve Hashem. Don't, you are serving Khomeini, the Iran Ataullah, your supreme leader. Stupid people! Thank you.